Hello again, my precious. Here is a new video on my channel, and today we are talking about grammar and we are talking about love. Uh, can these topics be combined? Let's see. Let's start. Говоримо про кохання. Знахідний відмінок. And today we are going uh, to learn how to talk about love in Ukrainian. And accusative case, which is the case of love in Ukrainian. Because uh, when we confess someone uh, in love, uh, we use this case. So let's learn. Вивчимо нові слова та фрази. As usual, we should learn some new words and phrases. Let's start with words. Пара – a couple. Хлопець – it's a boy, but uh, in the love case it's like boyfriend. Дівчина – a girl, but in this case a girlfriend. Кохання – love. Любов – love. What is the difference? Кохання – it's passionate love. And любов – it's love in general. Uh, uh, to nature, to your country, to your parents, and uh, kochanie, it's only to your intimate partner, to someone uh, who you love intimately, passionately. Človek, a husband, družina, a wife. Radist, joy, zadovolenie, pleasure. Batkivčina, uh, motherland, uh, your native country, and the phrases Ти подобаєшся мені, I like you, Ви подобаєтесь мені, I like you, the difference between ти, ви, you uh, can watch in my uh, first videos uh, where I am talking about these pronouns. Я кохаю тебе, I love you. Я кохаю вас. I love you. Я люблю тебе. I love you. Я люблю вас. I love you. Again, я кохаю тебе. I love you passionately. Uh, я люблю тебе. I love you in general. But we uh, can use it uh, uh, in the form of confession love. Uh, it's something like... Um, Tiama, Tequera in Spanish, uh, and uh, so on, something like that. Kochaya, uh, it's uh, really, uh, it, 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 it's connected with uh, passion, with sex, and Lublu, uh, it's general. So uh, you can love a person and you can love nature. Uh, we use Lublu, and Kochaya, we use only to each other, to humans. Я знайшов тебе. I have found you. Я знайшов вас. I have found you. Ти приносиш мені радість і задоволення. You bring me joy and pleasure. So, such a wonderful romantic words. Ой, мама, люблю гриця, гриць на конику, вертиться гриць. Окей, let's talk about accusative case. So, let's start. Here we have nominative case, it's the beginning of the sentences, uh, our verbs, and the uh, accusative case. So, we use it like this. Victor читає журнал. Журнал, grammatical masculine, and uh, we have no ending. Uh, he reads what? He reads a magazine. Mm -hmm. Victor читає журнал. Victor reads a magazine. So here uh, the magazine will be in uh, accusative case. Uh, it's here denoting the direct object. So we are doing something with a thing. Yes? Uh, and this is another example. Hanna пише диктант. Hanna writes a dictation. 
So again, we have we see that grammatical masculine it has no ending. Uh, Hanna is writing what? She is writing a dictation. So we use accusative uh, case here. Uh, Anna push a list. Uh, again, no ending, but sometimes we can use ending R. Uh, Hanna push a list. Uh, Hanna push a rechina. If uh, the words in uh, grammatical neuter, it uh, doesn't change ending in accusative case. Like rechina slovo, Hanna pushe rechina, Hanna pushe slovo. Hanna is writing a sentence, Hanna is writing a word. Uh, but if it's grammatical feminine, like a word stata, in accusative it will be statu. Hanna pushe statu. So, uh, as we see, in accusative, uh, it's like direct object, yeah? And here, studenti slucheit muziku. The students listening to music. Slucheit kogosco muziku. Studenti slucheit pisnu. The students are listening to the song. Again, slucheit kogosco pisnu. Uh, in grammatical feminine, there are endings u, u. U if we have a hard sound like k, and u if we have a soft sound n. Uh, about soft and hard sounds, uh, you can watch in my previous videos about phonetics. Uh, uh, very first videos. Brati читают газеты. Journaly, stati, slova. And here is the plurals. And here we don't change any endings. Uh, and we use the words in plurals uh, in the uh, like a nominative case. So uh, magazines, uh, newspapers, uh, articles, words. Yes, plurals don't change endings in uh, accusative case. So next, if uh, we want to say not about subject but but about people, Anton znaje Viktora y Ilu. So if the sound uh, in the name Viktor or in the noun in any noun is hard, so we use a, and if it's soft, we use u. Viktora y Ilu. Victor, Victor, Ila, it's the, the name too. So you see the ending is changing here. Maria Razumia Hannu, Mariu. So Hanna, uh, it was ending A, but in accusative case it changes U. So with uh, hard sound we use U in the end, and with soft sound we use U. Yeah, it changes to U. Sestra bacit batka podrugu. Again, uh, batko, uh, it's uh, grammatical, uh, it's grammatical masculine and o changes to a. Podruga, grammatical feminine, a changes to u in the accusative case. So, uh, we can translate Anton knows Victor and Ella. Uh, Maria understands Hanna and Maria. Sestra sees a father and a friend. Uh, so you see the changes of ending. It's uh, pretty easy. In general, if uh, it's if we have grammatical masculine, uh, it goes without any ending, like a nominative case. If we have a grammatical neutral, it changes nothing. And, but if we have grammatical feminine, it changes to U. U depends on the sound before this vowels. The plurals don't change in accusative case. Uh, if it's human, some names, uh, so uh, it depends on the ending in grammatical masculine. 
uh, it's R U if the ending if the if the sound is uh, a hard R if the sound is soft U uh, again uh, in grammatical feminine the same rule uh, but U U and uh, uh, R U so the rules are pretty easy and when do we use uh, this uh, accusative case with the verbs бачити побачити see вивчати вивчити study learn викокати викокати call запитувати запитати ask Розуміти, зрозуміти, understand, слухати, вислухати, hear, listen, співати, заспівати, sing, читати, прочитати, read, забувати, забути, forget, розв'язувати, розв'язати, solve, писати, написати, write, чекати, зачекати, wait, брати, взяти, take, запрошувати, запросити, invite, дивитися, подивитися, see, watch, Хотіти, захотіти, want, купувати, купити, buy, робити, зробити, do, make, любити, полюбити, love, знайомити, познайомити, get acquainted, meet, показувати, показати, show. So, you see, there are some different prefixes in the other words, but they mean the same. And somehow, in other lessons, we will talk about this case and when we use these prefixes, of course. So, and another part, when do we want to... Uh, find the accusative case of amin, animate nouns. Uh, so you see, Victor, engineer, батько, викладач, товариш, учитель Сергій, Микола, Алі, Ефе, grammatical, masculine. Victor, it's a name. So, engineer, uh, engineer, лікар, doctor, батько, father, викладач, teacher, товариш, friend, comrade, учитель, teacher, Сергій, it's a name, Микола, it's a name, Алі, Ефе, it's foreign names. So, if the noun in grammatical masculine doesn't have ending, so we add A in accusative case. Віктора, інженера, лікаря, sometimes, yeah, yes. If it has ending O, it changes to A. Батько, батько. Викладач, no ending. We add A. Like in the word товариш, we add A. Учитель, soft sound. So, we use Я. Учителя. Again, Сергій, soft sound. We use Я. Микола. It has ending A. In accusative, it changes to У. And foreign names, we don't change. So you can see again all these nouns in the table. If it's grammatical feminine, studentka, student, Natalia, Maria, their names, mother, mother. So a studentka changes to studentku, ending u. Natalia, soft sound l, to u. Natalu, Maria, ia changes to iu. And mati, matir, yes, it's just just like exception. You should just remember it. So that's pretty easy, you see. And foreign names, Lily and Michelle, Lily, they don't change. And again, we have the list of verbs that we have talked just a minute ago. So with accusative case. So, if something is not clear for you, please write me in the comments. I will explain again to you. And uh, right now, let's do some practice. <laughs> let's practice. So, here I have uh, 
the short sentences and in the end the nouns in nominative case. So please turn it into accusative. You can uh, use the table in uh, previous uh, slides and try to do it. Write the answers in the comments and in the next slide we will check and translate everything. So. I hope your answers will be correct. Here are the answers. So, я читаю книгу. I read a book. So, а changes to у. Він чекає Марію. He is waiting for Maria. Я changes to you. Вона слухає вчителя. She is listening to the teacher. Л soft sound changes to я. Вони люблять Україну. Again, а changes to у. They love Ukraine. Ти запитуєш друга. You ask a friend. Again, друг with no ending and uh, it's hard sound, so we use ending a. Ми даруємо любов. We are given love and uh, it doesn't change. So, I hope all your answers were correct. So you can practice with any other verbs, any other nouns, like that. You see, the rule is quite clear and the exceptions are quite few. So, if you don't understand something, please ask me in the comments. I will explain you everything again. <laughs> So, here is a text about love, about one of my the most favorite films in the Ukrainians, Tzini Zabutuch Predkiv, Shadows of Forgotten Ancestors, and it's also a book by Mikhail Kotsubinsky, a famous Ukrainian writer. So, all the nouns in uh, accusative case are uh, purple here in the text. So, uh, let's read it and let's translate it and then I will ask you to answer the questions. Це Іван та Марічка. These are Іван and Марічка. Вони пара. They are a couple. Іван кохає Марічку. Іван loves Марічка. Марічка кохає Івана. Марічка loves Іван. Марічка співає пісню про Івана. Marichka is singing a song about Ivan. Ivan слухає пісню. Ivan is listening to the song. Українці завжди співають, коли їм дуже добре або дуже сумно. Ukrainians always sing when uh, they feel very well or they are very sad. Ivan знає Marichku з дитинства. Ivan knows Marichka since childhood. Ти приносиш мені радість і задоволення. You bring me joy and pleasure, каже Іван, says Іван. Чи будуть вони щасливі? Will they be happy? Щоб дізнатися, прочитайте книгу Михайла Коцюбинського «Тіні забутих предків» або подивіться фільм. To know it, read a book by Михайло Коцюбинський «Shadows of Forgotten Ancestors» or watch a film. Це Іван та Марічка. Вони пара. Іван кохає Марічку. Марічка кохає Івана. Марічка співає пісню про Івана. Іван слухає пісню. Українці завжди співають, коли їм дуже добре або дуже сумно. Іван знає Марічку з дитинства. Ти приносиш мені радість і задоволення, каже Іван. Чи будуть вони щасливі? Щоб дізнатися, прочитайте книгу Михайла Коцюбинського «Тіні забутих предків» або подивіться фільм. Дайте відповіді на запитання. Answer the questions. Хто Іван та Марічка? Who are Іван and Марічка? Чи кохає Іван Марічку? Does Іван love Марічку? Що співає Марічка? What is Марічка singing? Про що пісня Марічки? Uh, what is, is Marichka's son about? Як довго Іван знає Марічку? How long has Іван known Marichka? 
in the next slide uh, you will see the answers but right now try to answer these questions in the comments and then we will check okay and here you see the answers Кто я вам та Марічка? Вони пара. They are a couple. Чи кохає Іван Марічку? Так, кохає. Yes, he loves her. Що співає Марічка? Марічка співає пісню. Марічка is singing a song. Про що пісня Марічки? Oh, what is Marichka's song about? It's about Іван. Про Івана. Як довго Іван знає Марічку? З дитинства. Since childhood. So these are the answers. I hope uh, you have the same, and uh, maybe you have uh, there in them in another form. Please write me in the comments. I will check and give you some tips. <laughs> Okay, this is the end of our video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you have learned many interesting things. I hope you liked all the songs that were in this video. Please check them in the description below. Give this video a huge thumb up. Subscribe to my channel not to miss any other videos. And we will see each other next Friday. Bye-bye.